everyone, today I want to share with you my tutorial on how I created these boxes for the ATC cards. I've had quite a few requests as well, uh, as well on Facebook as on YouTube. So thank you so much for uh, requesting me to do a tutorial on this box. And this was my Shabalicious Design Team uh, project. And the ATCs measure uh, two and a half uh, by three and a half inches. And I wanted to create a box uh, that can hold a dimensional ATC card. So this box measures uh, three by four and it's half an inch wide. So I'm going to show you how to create this box. I'm not going to use vellum for this tutorial because it doesn't show very well on camera. But I, I will use some cardstock, but you can use vellum or acetate or any uh, material that you like. So we are going to need um, a paper trimmer and also a scoreboard if you have one. You can also use uh, your paper trimmer and uh, an embossing tool to make your score lines. But I like to use my scoreboard and of course my bone folder as well. And we're also going to need some adhesive. I like to use some score tape, but you can also use a liquid adhesive uh, that dries really fast. And I also like to use a ruler to uh, reinforce um, the glued uh, edges, but I will show you that in a minute. <laughs> so the first thing that we are going to need is a piece of cardstock or vellum or acetate. And this piece measures uh, seven and a half by five and a half inches. I hope it shows this way. So you're going to cut a piece of paper seven and a half by five and a half inches. And then I uh, drew the score lines. So we are going to score it. And I'm going to place it like this. And we're going to score it at half an inch. Three and a half inches, four inches, and seven inches. And then we turn it counterclockwise and we're going to score at half an inch, one inch, and five inches, like so. And now I can move my scoreboard out of the way and I can fold all the score lines like this so I have something that looks like this and now we are going to cut and we will be ending up with something that looks like this. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm sorry I forgot to mention that you also need a pair of scissors. I'm sorry. And we are going to cut off this corner first. And we are also going to cut away this piece right here in the center. Also this corner right here. I'm sorry if you hear the rain. It's rainy and stormy weather. So these three pieces are cut out and now we are going to cut this piece until this score line as well as this piece. But I will show you like so and I have to turn it upside down because it's easier to cut it and this one as well so now you should have something that looks like this and we're also going to uh, miter the edges so 
I'm going to give it a little bit of a cut right here not too much just a little bit and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's not going to show but now we have something that looks like this and I'm going to do that on the left side as well because these will be folded inward so you're not going to be able to see it and now this will be the flap and we have to cut these corners as well you can also uh, use your uh, corner punch but I wanted to do this tutorial without any dies or um, uh, special uh, tools so I'm going to just cut them the same as we did the other corners so just a little piece and I just eyeball it so the flap looks like this this is how the box will be put together so and now what I like to do is I like to punch half a circle here and I used my half inch circle punch I also forgot to show it to you I'm sorry but you can also use um, a template like uh, something like this if you don't have the punch and then you hold it like this and draw it I'm going to do that I'm not going to use my punch I'm just going to to draw it and I want to do it in the center of this piece and this measures between this it measures three inches so I'm going to measure um, one and a half inches so I'm sure that I'm in the center and now I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to eyeball it a little bit and then like this and now I'm going to cut this half a circle so I do have my little notch here to take out the ATC and we're going to put adhesive uh, let me see on these sides because the box will be this will be the the back side and you will do these flaps fold them inwards and then these will be like like so I'm sorry so this will be the front side of your box and you don't want to have to look at these edges so I'm going to put my adhesive on these two flaps and like I said I'm, I like to use core tape but you can use any other kind of adhesive uh, let me get my scissors and on this side as well I'm going to do one side at a time so I usually start at the bottom and I line it like this so I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to fold it inwards like this I hope it shows and then I'm going to line up my my flap like this and now I like to use my ruler to reinforce the flap and I'm go going to fold this one with the adhesive inwards as well Oops, <laughs> it's sticky <laughs> and I'm going to line it so that I have a neat and nice corner like this and now I'm going to use my ruler again to reinforce it so this is the back side of the box and the front side and this is the flap and it goes in the box like this 
and this is why I created this little notch so the ATC can be taken out easily. So here's my ATC box and like I said you can also round these corners if you want with a corner chomper or anything else or a decorative edge uh, punch but I like to cut them because I don't uh, I know that not everyone has the corner chompers or round edge punches so yeah this is the box and you can decorate it any way you like and it's I, I will show you that the ATC fits inside the box perfectly like this and it's a really nice small project and it's a nice way to send uh, the ATC cards so I hope this tutorial was helpful I hope I I was clear and my explanation was uh, understandable um, if you have any questions please let me know so yeah I hope you will uh, create some ATC's and some ATC boxes as well uh, they are really fun to make and it's uh, it's uh, quite a uh, a quick project so I want to thank you all so much for watching I hope you are all having a wonderful week and I'll see you next time bye bye